in order to develop a simple app widget, an app widget without any configuration activity, we just need to define a class that extends app widget provider. App widget provider, a class that actually extends broadcast receiver. Within our class, we should override on update. On update is the method that will be invoked each time there is a need to update uh, the app widget itself and in addition because we don't have a configuration activity this is the method that will be invoked when uh, we install the app widget for the first time if you go over the code you can find that in this code sample we have an object of the remote views type this object actually represents the view the, the, the user interface of our app widget actually when you develop an app widget and the app widget is up and running the app widget um, is displayed as part of another process usually it is the home screen activity process and this code which is executed in a separated process can access the user interface created for the app widget in the home screen activity process using a remote views object in addition to defining to the definition for the class that extends app widget provider we should also create an XML document that describes the layout of the app widget we develop. We should place this XML layout document within the REST layout folder. In addition, we should create an XML document with the app widget provider XML element that provides information about the app widget and we should place this XML document within the REST XML folder and then within the manifest file of our application we should place for our app widget a receiver XML element and here we should place an intent filter exactly like this one, this intent filter turn this um, receiver element that defines the Belsky app widget provider in this code sample and in general this is the receiver XML element that defines um, that a very specific class we define as a class that extends app widget provider this is the XML element that informs the Android platform about the existence of a, a component which is a class that extends app widget provider a class the Android platform can treat as an, um, a broadcast receiver for getting calls um, each time there is a need to update the app widget for example in addition, we should place a metadata XML element that refers the XML element, the XML document that provides information about the app widget. This one. Pay attention that this XML document that provides information about the app widget also uh, uh, specifies the layout XML document that this that sets describes the user interface of the app widget. So here within the manifest file, we just need to refer that very specific XML document that uh, provides information about the app widget and we should do it using a child element for the receiver element that describes the app widget provider we developed describes the class we defined as a class that extends app widget provider now if we try to execute this 
a project we shall get this app widget installed to the Android device and then as a user it will be possible to add uh, an app widget the app widget we have just installed on the um, desktop we just need to press a long press till we get a pop-up window in which we can select widgets and when selecting widgets we shall get a pop-up window where we can select the Abelski widget which we have just installed and then get it on screen uh, in this code sample is, is, is includes the development of a very simple app widget when the user press the button he is simply taken uh, to the web browser uh, which displays uh, the website abelski.com but it could be a more sophisticated one it is now in your hands to take it forward and develop cool app widgets on your end. Let's see how does it work. As you can see, it actually starts the web browser and displays the abelski.com website. This is exactly what we asked in this code. Here we created a pending intent that refers the abelski.com website and here we actually specified that intent as the intent that should be in use when the user press the button the button that is part of the app widget